Hi everybody, Pastor Vince here. Thank you again for joining me and us for another week of Life Lifters. Uh, our whole goal is to give you a, a short blast of encouragement and some particular theme. And this week, our theme is on the subject of leadership. Now, I don't know what it is about leadership. In fact, I, I think I somewhat know what it is. But leadership is seen sometimes as a dirty word, leadership. You know, we think of leaders as people we don't trust, people who boss others around, people who have it easy up top, and they make it hard for people beneath them. Uh, people who climb the ladder of success only to step on people on the way up. Leadership has been given a negative connotation, frankly, because so many leaders have given the concept of leadership a black eye. But this week, I want to expose you to the concept of leadership, and I want to tell you this, that leadership is a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing because the Bible says it's a good thing. Where does the Bible say that? 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. Look at what it says. It says, Paul giving advice to young Pastor Timothy, giving counsel, giving biblical instruction, I should actually say. And he says this to him. He says, Timothy, here is a trustworthy saying. If anyone sets his heart on being an overseer or a leader, he desires a noble task. In our translation, he who aspires to leadership aspires to a good thing. It is good to aspire to leadership. Why? Because leadership is a good thing. Why is leadership a good thing? Let me give you an answer by analogy. Why is a steering wheel a good thing? Why is a rudder on a boat a good thing? Why is the direction of a sail an important thing on a boat? Because leaders set the course for others. Without leadership, you have no direction. Without leadership, you don't know where you're going. Most people in life need someone to lead them in some area of life. And you know what I found? In some areas of life, you and I may be a leader. In other areas of life, you and I are followers. And to be a good leader, which we are all called to be, you also need to be a good follower. And to be a good follower, you need to be a good leader. Leadership is so important. What is missing in our world? Leadership. What's missing in so much of all that we see and all the chaos going on around us with COVID, with racism, with all that's going on? What is needed? Leadership. What happens when you become a Christian? You make Jesus Christ the leader of your life. Can I explain to you how important leadership is any better than through Jesus Christ? I don't think so. We all need leadership. And here's the thing. In some area of life, God has called you to be a leader. You say, what, me, a leader? Yep, we're all called to lead something. Maybe our children, maybe our family, maybe at work, maybe in the neighborhood, something, some kind of way, we're all called to lead something. You lead something, you probably don't even know you're a leader, but you are. And the Bible says this, that leadership, it's a good thing. It's a really good thing. Let me give you my definition of leadership, and then throughout the week, I'll unpack it. Here's my definition of leadership. Leadership is the attitude and ability, we'll unpack that uh, in this week, to influence and motivate others, we'll unpack that, for a greater good and a common goal that honors God. That's what leadership is. That's how I define it anyway. Isn't that good? It's an attitude or ability to influence and motivate others. Where? For a greater goal and a common good that honors God. Leadership is a good thing. If you aspire to leadership, not for power-hungry reasons, but for noble reasons, wow, you've aspired to something good. Leadership is a good thing. Will you be a leader wherever you're at? Wherever you're at, just lead right where you're at. That's the saying of the Global Leadership Summit, and on August 6th and 7th, we'll host that event. You can find out more on our website, but I don't want to make a big commercial out of it. I just want to say this. You are called in some area of your life to be a leader, and if you answer the call, you're choosing a good thing. Let's pray. Father in heaven, 
Thank you for this beautiful thing called leadership. Help us to look at it nobly, even if there are ignoble examples all around us of leadership. Help us to lead right where we're at, to lead people the best we can to honor you. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks. Be a leader right where you're at. Have a great day.